OpenAI's new agent builder is insane. OpenAI just dropped something that's going to change how you build AI agents forever. I'm talking about agent builder. And honestly, when I first saw this, I thought, no way this is real. This thing lets you build multi-step AI workflows with drag and drop, no coding required, like zero. You can build an AI agent that plans entire trips, manages your emails, does research for you, all by dragging boxes around on a screen. I've been testing this for the past week and I can't believe how powerful it is. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how it works. I'm gonna build a real agent live, right here on camera, and I'm gonna break down why this is the biggest productivity unlock of 2025. Trust me, you've never seen anything like this. All right, so OpenAI announced this at Dev Day in early October, 2025, and the tech world kind of lost its mind because up until now, building AI agents was hard. You needed to understand Langchain or write a bunch of orchestration code. You had to wire up APIs manually, test everything. It was a nightmare for non-developers. Agent Builder changes all of that. It's a visual canvas. You drag nodes onto a screen. Each node does something. One node talks to an API. Another node summarizes information. Another one sends an email. You chain them together. You test it. You ship it. Done. And the crazy part is it actually works, like really works. I'm not hyping this up. This is legit. And it's not just the visual builder. There's a connector registry so you can hook up your agents to Gmail, Slack, Google Calendar, Flight APIs, whatever you need. There's ChatKit, which is a pre-built chat UI you can embed anywhere. And there's built-in evaluation tools so you can test your agents at scale and make sure they're not doing dumb stuff. Now, let me show you what this looks like. I'm going to build a travel planning agent. This thing is going to take a user request, like plan me a four day trip to Tokyo for under a thousand dollars. And the agent is going to search for flights, find hotels, create an itinerary, add everything to a calendar and send back a full travel plan all automatically. And watch this. The agent processes everything, calls the flight API, gets results, calls the hotel API, summarizes, creates the calendar event done in like 30 seconds. I just built a travel agent that would normally take a developer days to code, maybe even weeks. And I did it by clicking and dragging. This is wild. Here's what makes this even crazier. You can edit the prompts inside each node. You can add guardrails. You can test everything with the built-in eval tools. You can see traces of what the agent did. You can iterate fast. And this isn't just for travel planning. Customer support bots, email assistants, research tools, content generators, sales automation, the use cases are endless. Imagine you have a business and people email you asking for quotes all day. You could build an agent that reads the email, extracts what they need, checks your pricing database, drafts a reply, and sends it back, all without you touching anything. Or you're a content creator. You could build an agent that searches for the latest news on a topic, summarizes the top articles, generates a script outline, and drops it into a Google Doc. Research done, script started, you just saved two hours. I actually built one of these and it's insane. What used to take me all morning now takes five minutes. The monetization potential here is wild. You could build niche agents and sell them, real estate search agents, concierge agents, SaaS automation. You could charge monthly subscriptions. You could license them to companies. OpenAI also released an agents SDK. It's a Python toolkit. So if you want more control, you can run agents locally. The SDK has a quick start guide on GitHub. But the cool part is you don't have to use code. The visual builder handles most use cases. ChatKit is huge too. It's a pre-built chat interface you can embed in your app or website. So if you're building a SaaS product and you want an AI assistant for your users, you don't have to build the chat UI from scratch. You just drop it in. Now let me talk about cost. Agentic workflows can get expensive fast. Every time your agent runs, it might make five or 10 API calls and each call costs money. So be smart about how you design your agents. Don't make unnecessary calls. Test everything before you deploy. OpenAI has pricing docs on their platform. I'll link them. There's also safety to think about. AI agents can hallucinate. They can suggest things that are wrong. OpenAI built guardrails and eval tools to help with this. You can set rules, like the agent can't book anything over a certain price. You can test your agent with different inputs and see where it fails. This is critical if you're deploying agents for real users. Let me show you the traces because this is important. I'm looking at the run I just did. I can see every step. The agent parsed the input, called the flights API. Here's what it sent. Here's what it got back, called the hotels API, summarized, created the calendar event, returned the final plan. If something went wrong, I'd see it here. 
and I can set up automated evals. Every time I update the agent, I run a test suite. I check if the outputs are correct. I measure response time. I track costs. This is how you build reliable agents. All right, so let's talk use cases, customer support. Build an agent that handles tier one support tickets. It reads the ticket, checks your knowledge base, drafts a reply. You just automated 70% of your support workload. Productivity, build an agent that manages your email. It reads your inbox, summarizes long threads, drafts replies, flags urgent messages. You never have to look at your email again. Content creation, build an agent that generates blog posts. You give it a topic, it researches, it outlines, it writes, you just edit and publish. Sales automation, build an agent that qualifies leads. It reads inbound messages, asks follow-up questions, checks if they're a good fit, schedules demos. Your sales team only talks to qualified leads. Research, build an agent that does deep dives on topics. It searches the web, reads articles, summarizes findings, cites sources. You get a full research report in minutes. Let me give you some tips if you're going to build agents. First, prompt engineering matters. The prompts you write inside each node determine how good your agent is. Be specific, give examples, test different versions. Second, start simple. Don't try to build a super complex agent on day one. Build a basic workflow, test it, then add more steps. This is way easier than trying to debug a giant agent. Third, use connectors wisely. Every connector is another point of failure. Another thing that can slow down your agent, be strategic. Fourth, monitor everything. Use the traces, use the evals. Know what your agent is doing. This is how you improve over time. And here's a big one. Don't assume the agent is always right. Build in confirmation steps, especially if the agent is doing something sensitive like sending emails or booking flights. Let the user review before it takes action. Agent Builder is a big deal. OpenAI is making agentic AI accessible to everyone. And that's gonna unlock so many new use cases, so many new businesses. The companies that move fast on this are going to have a massive advantage. Imagine your competitors are still manually handling support tickets and you've got agents doing it all for you. Instantly, at scale, that's a game changer. And for creators, freelancers, solopreneurs, this is huge. You can automate your own workflows and free up time to focus on high value work. You can build and sell agents as products. But here's the thing. This is all new. The best use cases haven't been discovered yet. So if you're watching this, you're early. You have a chance to experiment, to build, to figure out what works. So go try it. Go to the OpenAI platform, sign up for the beta, play with Agent Builder, build something simple, then build something more complex. The more you build, the better you'll get. I'm going to drop five links in the description, the OpenAI announcement, the Agent Builder docs, the Agent's SDK Quick Start, the Practical Guide PDF, and TechCrunch coverage, Start there. All right, that's it. If you got value, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm dropping more agent tutorials and templates. Drop a comment. Tell me what agent you're going to build first. Travel planner, email assistant, let me know. Next video, I'm showing you how to build a booking agent in 10 minutes. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Now go build something.